Greetings and welcome back to the 60 Minute Arena. Just as a recap, we are now in round one, match 11. And uh, we have Edak, who is at about 75% of his stamina, wielding his Martian Blade and his healing factor, versus Boona Boy, who uh, traps his opponents in obsidian boxes with Martian technology. Now, these two uh, participants are about equally matched. So what ends up happening is that they end up grappling with each other and they basically start wearing each other down, but neither one of them gets the upper hand. However, now that they are both down to 50%, there is a tag out decision to be made. Both the red and blue captains are still in the arena, not eliminated. So both of them will tag out to heal up. And while they are in the middle of their fight, Chris Dude or Decipher and Cakes are take the opportunity to battle each other. Now we have the Ant-Man-like miniaturization powers of Decipher against the magic buttons of Cakes and while they were both relatively equal in strength at the beginning, Cakes has been pounding it out in the ring for a while. Uh, so naturally, Cakes is now down actually quite low. He is below 25%. He's at about 12% of his stamina, uh, which means he is going to make a beeline for the exit. And Chris Dude, because Cakes was in such a weak state, Chris Dude does take some damage, but it was not uh, nearly enough to mark him down below the 75% mark. So we have one, two, three contestants tagging out. All right, so Cakes, Boona Boy, and Edak successfully tagged out. They have brought in Pingo Ping and Pingy Puck. These are the random carrots. They fight together as a single... Uh, combatant. They have a single map that they worked on together. Randium for the red team and Jim Sack for the yellow team. So among this group, the two who have the earliest submissions are the Random Carrots team and Randium. So we're going to see a matchup between red versus blue and we'll start by checking out the moves of the Random Carrots. All right, here we go. This is the random carrots map. Story in a compass. The Martians want to destroy the Earth. They've hidden the TNT so you don't know where it is. You can see the TNT from space or on a map. You chose the last option. You have a compass but no paper. If you press the start button, the compass will lead you to your friend Harry. He's very nice so he will maybe give you some paper. Okay, now it said maximum render distance equals 10 chunks. I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh boy, <laughs> I, did I just fail the parkour right off the bat? Oh, what does that sign say before I get too far away? Your house. So this is a, this is what a random carrot's not snapshot map looks like oh my frozen potatoes what the heck <laughs> oh my gosh that's a really awkwardly placed bit of land there not probably by you guys this seems generated we're going to Harry's house so that he can come out and he can give me paper that a map will be come out. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I missed a path. Did I miss a path or was there no path? It feels like this is artificially made to not be climbable. Not sure about that though. Maybe not. Harry, Harry's house, Harry's farm. 
Oh boy. Press the button. Hi Harry, do you have some paper for my map? Hello, I don't have paper, but you could probably find some paper in the library. Just follow just follow your compass to get there. I know for sure that Frank the librarian has paper for you. Oh no, do I have to travel hundreds of blocks again to the library? Oh, but you're my best friend, so you can ride to the library on my horse. Who won't fit out the door. Whoa, this is a jumper. Whoa, and look at how many hearts he has. Okay, horse. We're going to try to get there without breaking the sweat. I mean, a hair on your head. Is he across the water? Because the horse won't go across the water. <laughs> Let's see how good of a jumper you are. Oh, God, you're not. That's weird. I thought you were a good jumper inside. Okay, up you go. And... Frank, do you have any beans? Put them... Oh, hey. Uh, Frank, we could just get some paper from there. Oh, God, you are a horrible jumping horse. I would let you go back into the wild and train a new one if this was a survival map. All right, here we go. Ah, this is probably Frank's house. The library, I mean. Okay, so now I need a crafting tableau. Frank, hello, are you searching for paper? Good news, I have seven sheets of paper for you. Oh no, I need eight pieces of paper to make a map. Oh, that's not so good for you. Twelve other pieces of paper were stolen a few minutes ago. I'm sure the thief went to the bank to steal more stuff. Follow your compass to find the bank. Okay, bye. All right, that's a good mechanic. I like how you subtly put the Martian theme in. <laughs> That's weird. It does seem that he was able to jump high. So maybe he's just not a far jumper. Oh, an Enderman. Alright, horse. We're going to have to take this long way around here. Oh, see now you're jumping high here. So he's a high jumper, not a far jumper? I thought horses... Or either just good jumpers or not. You seem to have a particular style of jumping that I've not encountered before in a an equine creature. Oh, my dog just got up. He hears somebody tooling around the kitchen clinking plates together. And he may bark. He's literally just standing with his nose against the door. Aha! I've stole the paper back from the Enderman. Thief, I mean. Bank. Story. <laughs> I like that he's wearing boots and gloves. Now you can craft your map using your paper and compass. If you have the map, you should see something. Go there and search carefully. I don't have a crafting table. Gold. <laughs> I love the way that it's all labeled. Now I won't have the use of my compass anymore. But if I... Is this going to work? Oh, it did work. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So we need to go roughly there. I see a shadow. But I don't see the X. Alright, you know what, horse? Swim. Swim on your own. I don't think I'm going to need you anymore. I'll get there quicker without you. Oh, they've stopped the sun at my favorite time, sunset. It's beautiful. This is a very beautiful view. It actually reminds me of my curator map. Almost puts me in the mood to play it. Oh, there is something up there. Okay. Now. Uh...
Is there something going down? No. Yes. Hello, lol. This sign is signy. Secret. There isn't a huge box with TNT over here. Hmm. A lightsaber. Oh, so they've used all of the keywords. Ha <laughs> ha. Destroy the earth box. The Martians. Okay. We're going to do it from up here so that I can make a quick getaway. Oh, never mind. Yay. Good job. You saved the earth. I did save the earth. End of the map. Ha. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was cute. That was really cute, actually. So the random carrots have a unique ability in the ring. They possess a magic compass that can tell them where to go next. So they have a very high dodge rate as far as combat goes. But what does Randium have up his sleeve? Let's check it out. All right, who took Ned by Randium? He gives cake that I can't put down and use, but that's funny. Intro. Read first a letter and suspects. So this map is not inspired by who shot Sam. Uh, he wanted me to know that. There's my gun, my Sherlock hat, my magnifying glass, and my book and quill, which I think I can use... So this book was inspired. Uh, this is what I can use to keep my detective notes. And I've decided to use my own gun. This doesn't count for or against the map. It's just the gun texture. Have you seen Ars Malik's December MHC? If not, you should be ashamed. It's pretty good. This map was inspired by that concept and it continues where Ars Malik's series ended. Boy, I actually forgot. Got what was December? Was it Zombie Life? No, it was The Martian, wasn't it? Dear researcher, we're asking you to solve the most difficult and most severe crime of all time. You might be surprised that the horrible fact is the following a potato has been stolen. Why is that so horrible? You will know soon. Swift Shots Report learns us how we tried to rescue Arsmalik. Arsmalik went to Mars but had no option to return. The Martian Mission Company sent Swiftshot to rescue him. A dangerous task, but he survived. His device showed him where Ars Malik has gone. He spotted some angry space pirates with blood stains around them. The DNA of the blood matched Ars Malik's. He probably fell into the lava. Ars Malik died 14 minutes before the rescue squad reached Mars. Sad, but something miraculous had been found. Some potatoes had grown on that dead, hot, dangerous planet. One of them was called Ned. Oh, this totally makes sense now. The only survivor, he was all left alone. We think Ars Malik preferred this potato above all other potatoes. <laughs> Something terrible happened the day Swift Shot showed the potato to his friends. The potato had been stolen. All suspects are captured. It is your task to find out who stole the potato. Something else was stolen. Swift Shot took some strange device away from the space pirates. Randium. Swift Shot and Cloud Wolf seem to know what it does, but they've refused to talk about it so far. All that is known from Swift Shot's report was that there were space pirates coming out of the device. Nobody knows why. Good luck, researcher, your boss. Okay, so I'm going to deposit these two things because I don't think they matter. Head Randium, head physicist of the Mars Mission Company. Hates doing dishes, great at redstone. Cloud Wolf, head technician, great view and incredible criti creativity. Swift Shot, special agent, makes a lot of money due to dangerous job, has a butler named Wadsworth. Cakes, employee, Wadsworth is Swift Shot's butler. Okay. Friend of the whole club who came together. Jim Sack, not much known about this guy. Pingo Ping, brother of Pingy Puck. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that doesn't really help me, probably. 
accuse someone, you could only do this when you know who it was. Okay, so this is the lineup. Wow, I've they've already been okay, so what do I need to do here? Do I just pick somebody or do I click on them to hear their story? Hey man, I'm innocent. I don't know how, but Swift Shot made me do the dishes. I'm fatigued, so I wasn't in the mood to steal a mere potato. I'm sorry, I know it's Ned. It wasn't me though. Okay. Hates doing dishes, great at redstone. Okay, so swift shot. Why am I a suspect? Why would I ruin my own house to risk my reputation of a good host? I was taking a look at the contraption swift shot took from him from his rescue mission. <laughs> I'm in I was in the kitchen eating some sort of cake when it happened. Okay. No, no, this time it wasn't the butler. We were just going to watch a movie, I think. Pingo ping, ping pingy puck cakes and Jim Sack were watching it too. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything at all. I was at the toilet. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Pingle Ping went to the toilet. Oh! And Jim Sack went to the toilet. Hmm. Huh, so... Jim Sack is the only one that has a second... second thing whoops now this is interesting so pinky puck what did Jim Sack say besides oh you jerk huh so these four guys so everybody has an alibi. Okay, so, I mean, he didn't mention that he went to the bathroom. And he didn't mention that, that Pingo Ping tried to come in while he was in the bathroom. But I really don't have any hard evidence. I just have a gut feeling. What's this? Oh. What's this? Is this the device? I don't know what this is. Oops, I almost missed this here. Uh, we don't need to do that. What do I have the gun for? And what do I have the Sherlock hat for, for that matter? Oh, audio recorders. Okay. Though this is interesting. So we're going to compare the audio books to where people actually were, right? Oh, let's start with book from Telrod Generator. Squeesh, click, clack, flush, sploosh, splash, bleach, click. Flush. So there's two flushes. So two people might have used the toilet. The kitchen. Randium, how's it going? I'm fine, except for the fact that I'm super busy with the dishes. Okay, that checks out. Cakes asked if there was some leftover baked Alaska. No, everyone ate too much of that. However, I made some tart titan. It was cooling down in the Ned room. You could take some. I'm sure it cooled down. Oh, they'll like that. Okay, okay. Where was I? Oh, right. Sigh. The dishes. Okay, so wait. Wadsworth is going into Ned's room. Alert, alert, alert. 
So in Ned's room, Cloudwolf is there about Redstone. It's got something with magic. You mean like enchanting and stuff? Yes. Something like that. Swiftshot tried to turn. No, no, no. What? Ned. So Cloudwolf and Randium discovered that Ned was missing. Okay. This was... Okay, so earlier in Ned's room... Deep sigh, rumbling sound of breaking glass. Huh? I thought I heard something falling from the kitchen table. However, I don't see any broken pieces. Squeeze, deep sigh. I don't... He sighs a lot. Okay, let's try the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Let me have a little break. That's better. My lord, Ned looks pretty scary in that dark room. Who's his lord? What? Hallway. In other words, I got a very scary contraption with me in the house. Not as long as we all stay alive. <laughs> Mission Moje de Valange. Oh, hi, Jim Sack. Hi, I'm disturbing you. Not at all. Come in. What's wrong, Jim Sack? You look scared. It's, it's nothing, guys. I'm fine. You didn't look that way. Did you eat too much? Eat? No, no, no. Or, I mean, yes, I did. Jim Sack, bring it on. I hallucinated. <laughs> what? I saw our smell. He demanded me to leave. He didn't want to be seen. Please don't tell Randy. Um, I don't want to make him think he's a bad cook. <laughs> War in the Middle East. Please don't kill me. Oh, I wonder if this, if one of those audio recordings is picking up the TV. Take this, nothing better than a good book. Poe, dat was in Lecker Diner's egg. So they're talking in what, Swedish? Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to assume that has not uh, like a major clue. There's something you should know about the contraption. What is it? Well, I took a look inside it. It just isn't about red zone. It's also What are all these squeesh sounds? Would you like some coffee or tea? Coffee, please. Could you bring me some tea, please? I wondered if there was leftover baked Alaska. What? So there's two, there's three parallel stories going on here. Now, voila, le cafe pour Cloud Wolf. So now Wadsworth is also talking in French. Well, no, he's French. Those other guys are, I think, Swedish. What does this mean in proper English? Well, I don't know. This is what Randium wanted me to say. What? What? This is so weird. Are we going to take Ned with us? I suspect that there was an accident and no one actually did it. Shall we warn the others before we start? Warn us for what? Oh, hi. We're just about to watch a movie, The Martian. I watched that last night, actually, with my wife for the first time. Uh, no spoilers. Okay. Well, my initial... I, I really haven't figured it out, but my initial gut is that it was uh, the butler Wadsworth... And then, I don't really know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm curious if I will. Could it be true? Could the space pirate contraption do necromancy? I Is Ars Malik alive? Am I supposed to press this? Did he... 
As you started the strange contraption, the suspect seemed to behave in an extraordinary way. Did he take Ned with him? The end. What? Do you believe in ghosts? Listen, this is not Pingle Ping. Leave Ned alone. There he is again. No, go away. What are you doing, sir? Please leave me alone. Help me, help me. You know who I am. You know what I want. I want you to stop right now. Leave Ned alone. Are you scared of bleeding to death? I don't want to scare you. So I think it's saying that I took Ned with me, came back from the dead by the alien device. I'm actually more confused by the ending, <laughs> but uh, but I think I think if I were to read it again, I think I would actually be able to puzzle it out. So not not bad. Uh, definitely something different and unique. Uh, I appreciate all the references, although they don't get you extra points. They do uh, they do encourage me. <laughs> Whoa, that was unexpected. Randium. Randium up his sleeve has necromancy. That is the power over death. Magic over death. So how does necromancy fare up against uh, evasiveness and a magic compass? So it's actually a fairly close matchup, but the random carrots did beat uh, Randium in this match. So both of them have had their stamina lowered. Uh, and both of them are now pretty close to 75%. Uh, the random carrots are at about 83% of their stamina and Randium is about 80% of his stamina right now. Uh, also in the ring, Chris Dude was at about 75% of his stamina. And in the next episode, he's going to face off against Jim Sack, who is 100% healthy and ready to fight. See you then.